YouTube, what's up? Y'all ready to see this? So this is same day as I done the Ford truck. Told y'all had another project where I pulled it in. It's our forerunner. Or <laughs> it's Ashley's forerunner. So she gets uh it's funny, we had it at a no prep race one time and one of the guys there at knows us, he said kept saying over at Kenny Lippard's forerunner and she was just like, It's mine. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so uh we uh we're gonna put this on look anyway that's show quality stuff there he's good um shout out to jason uh anyway we got uh we're gonna paint the bumpers on this thing let me show you why so whoever had it before us has run into a couple things we've had this thing for like two years three years and we've been wanting to paint these bumpers for a while and i haven't so we're gonna hit these bumpers up fix them that one this one, we're gonna get this out as much as we can. And then, uh, hold on a minute. So this thing's in, in really good shape. I know y'all have seen it. Some of y'all, a lot of y'all have seen this in person. But when we bought it, it had a little bit of paint chips on the front bumper. Um, it has been in, I think, two very minor collisions in the front, I think that's what the Carfax said. But over time, this has got worse. So we got the Tensy show coming up on April 7th. And today is the 29th of March. Um, I'm going to paint this bumper. So I'm going to scuff all this down. I'm going to hit the bad spots. And I'm going to blend it in with everything. So we'll probably paint this whole bottom rail here. And then start paint this. Get all this cleaned up and this. And then kind of blend it over into this and up into here. So we'll blend, blend the top part of the bumper with the actual paint. And then, you know, paint, get, get it all covered. See, it's got spider cracks there. I'll probably raise the hood a little. Actually, I know I will and get this. But we'll hit all the spots and make sure we get them covered good. And then where we can blend into the factory stuff, we'll blend into the factory stuff and then we'll spray the clear. We'll do the same thing on the bottom. Also, when we do this, I think I'm going to go ahead and hit these headlights, y'all. we we'll clear coat these headlights. Ain't, ain't that old, but they are Amazon headlights. And that's no disrespect to amazon headlights at all i really like these headlights my corolla has 60 it just it actually just flipped 64,000 a day i'm sure on the way home last night from the track because the day's friday but it my my corolla is feeling the same way and they're factory toyota headlights but we're going to spray the bumper so i'm gonna tape everything up and i'm gonna tape tape everything up the way like so what I'm gonna do is tape everything up to where if I was gonna clear the headlights and clear the bumper all at one time. And what I'll do is after I tape every, all this up, after I tape, you know, the hood and the fenders and all that up, after I tape all that up, I will go back and run tape on the headlights so I can cover the headlights. So I can spray the bumper with the, uh, the paint and then I can go back and after the bumper, after the paint dries on the bumper, I can peel the tape and stuff off of the headlights and then I can spray clear over everything. So that I'll, I'll spray clear over the headlights, bumper, everything. Obviously I'm gonna do this bumper and the back bumper at the same time. So, uh, and I'm gonna take that off and we're gonna respray that black. But we'll probably take that off, spray this, get it dry back to 400 out and then spray that in here as well so i'm going to actually use that trim paint that i used on that 3000 well y'all have not seen that video it'll be a video coming out of 3000 gt that we worked on um i used some trim paint that i got from the shop uh from the paint store well, that's actually what we're going to work on or use on that more than likely is is that trim paint we'll see how it holds up if it ends up fading or something then i'll go back and spray that in a base clear to to get it to be nice um so anyway let's get to it y'all let's get to sanding all right so we got taped up we're actually just going to do the front bumper today and then we'll spin it around do the back bumper uh tomorrow or next week sometime so we got that sanding got all that sanded we're going to just spray this and then tape it up paint it black actually we're not going to spray the whole thing i'm going to spray it up and around and then i'll clean it off retape that and spray the bottom black but we're gonna spray all this today, uh, the gold color, and uh, get on it. Let me show you what we're using. So this is Capsi. It's a factory Toyota color. It says bronze. I don't know, whatever. And then the reducer. And then we do. We're doing using U-Pole Clear, U-Pole Hardener. Let's get that 
to the side. I ain't gonna use that. And I'm gonna use a bulldog adhesive promoter to spray on the bumper. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna spray it on the bumper. And then I'm gonna go back and uh, spray the base. So what we did is we're gonna spray the base here and we take these headlights up to where we can take this off and then the headlights will be exposed. So it's taped up behind it. That way we can take this bag off. After we spray the base, we let it dry. We'll pull this off and then uh, we'll have the headlights exposed. So when we spray the clear, we can spray, spray the headlight clear with the clear on the bumper. So it's good paint. All right, we got one layer of clear on. Got the base on. One layer of clear on everything. There's a few spots I don't really care for, so we might end up re-scuffing it, re-spraying it, but can't really tell it in the camera, so. It looks pretty good, though. What y'all think? All right, so it's still not done, but we got our last thing of clear on here. As far as for this, too shabby. We're gonna take this and this, I think this whole center section, we're gonna do black in this whole part here. That's why I wasn't, if you look, it, the paint's kind of thin. I wasn't too worried about it because we're going to redo that anyway. So, what y'all think? I said, this video is not gonna come out till we get this done. I'll probably do it tomorrow or the next day. I might start working on the back bumper tomorrow and then we're gonna do that the same color that we're doing this bottom section, so. Headlights turned out good. So, hopefully it matches good. All right, y'all, so we're working on the back bumper now. We're getting her all centered up. And we got the front untaped. Let's show you what it's like here. We can still got a tape of the front. So uh, we're gonna do this black underneath. So we still gotta tape that up. And then we got the roof rack off. We got it back here painting it. So, uh, yeah, let's get this finished up. All right, yeah, so we got it painted black on the bottom. We got the roof rack back here drying right now. I'm gonna end up having to redo this, this one bottom part here. It got a couple places it got contaminated. I'm not gonna mess with it today, but uh, yeah, I'll have to go back and sand that off and sand that off and fix it. But, Thing. Not looking too shabby. So now we're back here taping this stuff back up and then we're gonna spray this back bumper today. Let it dry and we'll be good. All right, so we got the base coat on here. Try a little different air pressure on this. Let's try it out. Looks like it might match a little better. We'll see what happens. Front bumper's a little light, so we tried something a little different. We can always buy a little more and more paint, especially being on our own. So we'll uh, get some clear on this thing and be ready to go. Sounds like a helicopter out there. So stay with us. All right, y'all. We got the clear on. So now we get to let it set and dry. Let's see how it turns out. So, let it set, dry, and we're going to do a little stuff outside for a little bit. Nice, beautiful, sunny day today. And we'll get it untaped and we'll show you everything. All right, well, it's done. She's going to pull it out. I like the front being blacked out like that. I don't know about y'all, but I do. No more messed up bumpers for her. So we got the top piece, we got finished painting it, and we'll get it put on. What's this guy doing? <laughs> he got sprayed in the face while we go. Look at there, y'all. Turned out pretty good, what y'all think? We got it back on there, it's painted. The paint on that is the same as the paint down here. So it'll be the same color, but there you go. This is what it is. Hope y'all enjoyed that. And if y'all want to see this thing in person, it's going to be at the Tensy Show on April 7th. So it, it'll be there, and hopefully the uh, Super is going to make it. We'll see what happens. So see y'all next time.